Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a video response to the Jar It Up January collaboration. Now the channels that are participating in this collaboration are Sutton's Days, More to Life, Wilhelm's Kitchen, Paul's Rule of Thumb, Angie's Pantry, and The Needy Homesteader. I'm going to leave links to their channels below. Today I will be jarring up Hunt's 100% natural tomato sauce. Okay, why would I do that? Well, first of all, each one of these tins was $2.98. So I have a couple of options. I could can it up, which is what I'm going to do, or I could divide it and freeze it. I would prefer to can it and keep my freezer space clear for something else. So let's get started with what we need. So here are some of the items I'm going to be using. I have more on the stove and I'll show you those in a moment. I have my jar lifter. I have my canning funnel. Now this is going to be a hot pack, so I'm using my stainless steel canning funnel. I have a ladle here. I have a chopstick for stirring the sauce in the jars. I have my magnetic lid lifter. I have the jar holder. Now I probably won't use that, but I thought I would show it anyway. Okay, I have vinegar. I'm going to wipe the rims with that vinegar. I'm using ball jars. Bernardin jars. And these are older Bernardin jars. I purchased these at a thrift store. So I have a couple of those in the mix as well. They're all cleaned and they're all waiting in the wings to be filled. Let's go over to the stove top and see what I have ready there. Okay, like I said, I'm doing a hot pack. So I have my pot here waiting for the tomato sauce to be poured in. And I'm using the Bernardin brand of lids. I also have ready here my 23 quart Presto pressure canner. I've done my safety checks. So here's a closer look at the product I'll be canning up today. It is the Hunt's sauce and it's 100% natural. Again, $2.98 at Walmart in the US. Fantastic deal. Okay, I'm going to put a link to that shopping haul and probably a card up there to the shopping haul. Although I purchased some other interesting things, I have to say this was the deal of the day. So let's get opening this up. Let's hope my can opener works. Oh, fantastic. I really thought this would be a struggle, but it is not a struggle, so excellent. I'm just going to dump this in the sink. Oh, and make a big mess while I'm at it. Great, so there it is. try to do this without too much splashing and spilling. There. Now for the second. Hmm. I could have used a bigger pot, but this will have to do. Now, off camera, I'm going to get my spatula and get the last bits of sauce out of both of these tins. I've turned on my sauce to warm up, and I'm now going to turn on my pressure canner. And I'm going to turn it to low, okay? The tomato sauce is sufficiently warm, so let's get filling up these jars and getting them in the pot. Just going to move that over a bit. You know, to be honest, I wanted to use regular mouth jars, but I didn't have any lids, <laughs> so I had to use a uh, wide mouth. That's okay. I'm all right with that. Excellent. I'm going to take another jar here and just place the canning funnel on that jar. I'm going to take my chopstick and I'm going to stir it. Okay. Okay. 
We're now going to get our vinegar and wipe the rim of the jar. I'm now placing the lid and the ring band on. Finger tight, and I'm now going to place this in my canning pot. Let's move on to the second jar. Let's give it a stir. That's probably a little label. So, yeah, it's a label. I must have purchased this one at a thrift store and I never got the label off properly. Oh well. Let's dip the paper towel in vinegar and give it a wipe. We've got a lid, a ring band. I'm looking at this ring band. It looks a little too rusted to use. There we go. I'm now going to put this into the canning pot. Okay, in all, there's 14 jars there. Let's get the lid on. As you see, I have my pressure gauge pointing in a direction. <laughs> that direction is to my dining room, where I am going to sit and babysit this, okay? This is not the time to gallivant. I mean, I will putter about the kitchen and keep an eye on this, but that is what I need to do, keep an eye on it. I'm now going to turn up the temperature on the element to between medium and high. There is a steady stream coming from the vent pipe, so I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. The canner has been venting 10 minutes. I'm now going to put the pressure regulator on, and I'll bring you back when the gauge has reached 11 pounds pressure. We're now at 11 pounds pressure. I'm now going to set the timer for 15 minutes as 15 minutes is the processing time for tomato sauce in pints. When the 15 minutes are up, I'll turn the element off and I will let the pressure come down naturally. And I'll bring you back when I'm opening up the pot. So as you see, the pot has come down from pressure. It's time to take off the pressure regulator. Always hold the lid away from you so you don't get a steam bath. There. All of the jars are out of the canning pot and every one of them is sealed. I would definitely do this again. Cheap. I hope you give this a try.